Hi there, I'm Jordan Hillary with The Daily National, and today we're talking about the triple bottom line, also known as 3BL. The triple bottom line is a business philosophy that takes into consideration people, planet, and profit. Today we're here with Ori Zohar, co-founder of Gorilla Ice Cream, an ice cream company founded on the principles of people, planet, and profit. Ori, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So let's jump right in. You've called Gorilla Ice Cream an experiment in social enterprise, and I, I love that term. Could you just tell us how you got the idea to start Gorilla Ice Cream? Absolutely. My good friend and business partner, Ethan Frisch, uh, we're working together, and he had the idea of starting a business around uh, social awareness and, and going to all the social movements that he studied as an undergrad, as a conflict studies major in college. And I was working in an advertising agency, and so I built a business plan and marketing plan around it. So he made the ice cream, and I built a business. Excellent. And uh, I wanted to just talk a little bit about how you weave people, planet, and profit through your business. Could you just explain a little, starting with people? I know you had an ice cream flavor called the Liberta Sao. Yeah, absolutely. And that was, what was that? Um, so that was a 72% chocolate and port wine ice cream. We topped it with frozen brulee, bananas, and cashews. And so that ice cream took inspiration from the pro-democracy movement in Guinea-Bissau, in Western Africa. And so with each of our flavors, we traveled to a different place around the world, and we took inspiration to raise awareness for the conflicts and for what happened in those areas. That is really amazing. So people would probably ask you, what is this flavor, the Liberta Sao, and you were able to raise awareness of exactly. the people of that movement. And on top of that, we, were, we chose the flavors based on the foods typical of that region. So we tried to kind of bring the different flavors out of Guinea-Bissau into this ice cream flavor. So it, it brought the local ingredients into it as well. Such a great idea. And you had a story around each flavor, which makes it even more amazing. Mm -hmm. And then from a, from a planet perspective, I know you did a lot of things to help protect the environment in the, in the materials that you used. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that we were giving back also to the planet and everything that we did and that we were very conscious of it. So, all of our ice cream containers were made out of sugarcane fiber so that they were biodegradable and compostable. Our spoons, we bought wooden spoons, which are four times more expensive than regular spoons. And even though that is a higher cost, it was worth it because it was all part of the experience and what we stood for. So you place. really put your money where your mouth is. Exactly. And speaking of putting your money where your mouth is, I know you guys were definitely out to make a profit. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about how you, you took this charitable mentality of kind of a nonprofit business, but were able to make it profitable? As, as, I talk, as I told you, um, a big part of our philosophy was that we were an experiment in social enterprise. So that means that we had both sides. We wanted to be both a for-profit business that was very efficient in what it did. And for example, the way that we did that is we had an egg yolk sharing program. So we only needed to use the egg yolks in our style of ice cream. We partnered with a macaroon bakery and gave them all of our egg whites so we were able to cut our egg costs in half. And so we tried to bring this philosophy throughout all of our business so we could be as efficient as possible. On the other hand, we also, our mission was charity, and our mission was that of a nonprofit. And so we donated all of our money to, to charity at the end of the day, so we could also put our, put our money where our mouth is back at these charities. I love that. So even though you did make money, you were able to donate it all back. Yes, exactly. That's excellent. And, you know, I know that this, this ice cream company started with some pretty humble beginnings as a street cart, and then grew to events, you did, even did some ice cream making classes, you were written up in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, Vogue magazine. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this company was able to become such a success? Because we were artisanal ice cream wrapped in a cause, what we were able to do is do a really high quality, indulgent, delicious ice cream, but while you were indulging yourself, you could also take care of other people. So it, wasn't, it was almost like a carbon offset. To your indulgence, you could give back a little bit. I love bit. that. It's always nice when companies can give you a reason to do good, and this is definitely something you can feel good about. We wish you continued success. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And join us next time.